tantos trinomas. Yanis. Long way. 
Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, uh, we love this game. We, we, we bring a new style to this game. We try to speed up the game. We were both very small when we started to play. The third thing, our coaches, our fathers, they were our coaches. They said, first thing we need to do, we need to start play uh, without the block. So the main goal was to hit on two or set jump set and all the time attack without the block. Today it didn't work, but uh, we tried during 11 years to work uh, in this procedure. And uh, I think we bring a new chapter in beach volleyball. I'm very happy Sweden taking the lead. So Simba, remember. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. And we really appreciate Vilka and all the uh, King of the Court team. And Boys, thank you Rotterdam. Boys, probably one of the harder interviews we're going to have tonight. It's the last game or the last session of the two of you together. Is there already something you could say about a farewell saying to our lovely friends here at King of the Court? Or is it too emotional right now to recap 11 years of the teamship of you? No, it's okay. For sure, we are not happy that we finish uh, the way we played today and yesterday. Uh, we started really good at this tournament, like first two days were really good and uh, we wanted to keep uh, keep going, but probably it's a sign that uh, <laughs> we can't keep going uh, for too long and uh, we had a great career together, we achieved so much uh, for uh, beach volleyball, especially in our country. Now we see thousands of kids uh, playing beach volleyball in Latvia, we understand it's because of us. and. Uh, Probably we will stay around beach volleyball. Uh, we are not team uh, anymore. Sam Smith is gone, but uh, our legacy will stay, and uh, we will stay in the beach volleyball. And uh, you will see us for sure. If we are not playing, we will be on stands in King of the Court and uh, beach volleyball uh, world tour all around the world. And uh, we just want to say uh, thank you to all the people who were watching, coming to the competition, and cheering for us. Who were waking up in the nights when we are playing uh, in. Uh, over the ocean and uh, cheer for us and us good messages in the good and especially in the bad times and uh, we really appreciate this. Thank you. So watching you from the outside, it's, it seems to be you were the first beach volleyball brand out there now being followed by the Vikings or the jump setters. Um, is there hope for the fans of volleyball to follow you as you announced as a, as a team you're gonna end your career but individually you keep on going. Where do we have options to see you playing and with who? At the moment, <laughs> I cannot say because I don't know myself. Yeah, but uh, maybe Sasha can say with who, who he will play. But for me, at the moment, is just let's see. Yeah, I will continue to play with my with my brother, with my younger brother. He's 25. Because um, my father, he was my first coach for 19 years, and uh, he was a pioneer of beach volleyball. He created every all achievements is thanks to him in uh, Latvian beach volleyball. And he really wanted that we play with my uh, with brother together, so I will play with him till Paris. We see how it goes. We'll try to qualify through Continental Tour, and uh, yeah, and then we'll see. Come to my camps, beach box camps. <laughs> so it's a, it's a family thing. Um, following you, it's always crazy to see you playing sometimes because it's so emotional. You know each other so good, and you also joke about each other. What has, has been, in 11 years, the most funny story that you lived together with the Lion King? It's all, all the time fun and it's all the time stress when we need to go to to airport because he's super super late all the time and we need to rush, you say. Perhaps we have like time, three hours, and then in the end we have like 20 minutes to catch the plane and we are all sweaty, more sweaty like now, and yeah, it's always stressful to go to airport. That's why I try to go a little bit earlier without the stress. It's sometimes more stress than in game, yeah. <laughs> it's like a marriage. I, mean, like, I, mean, I love adrenaline. I love stressful situation and I enjoy it. And uh, my wife saying that I do it on purpose. I'm, uh, I'm getting, so even if you have, like Yanis mentioned, three hours before the flights, you'll say like, you'll find a uh, hundred things to do before your flight. Uh, so you'll at uh, your last minute with a final call, you're in and then oh, you got this adrenaline. Yes, oh, okay, enjoying it. <laughs> So is there anything you can tell out to the world of volleyball fans that nobody knows about Yanis? Alex, you about him. Yeah, about, about Yanis? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. 
Uh, Yanis is really family guy. Like uh, he maybe doesn't look, he's like an Iron Man, but uh, I think he's uh, the best husband I've seen. How he's treating uh, his kids, how he's treating his wife. He's like really fa family man with a, a capital uh, F letter. Yeah, so probably people don't know this. Uh. <laughs> Lovely words. So from my side, thanks for having you. Thanks for all the effort you gave to the sport and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to see all that effort and energy individually wise, even though the brand will always live on. So enjoy the moment. It's all yours. And uh, yeah, let's watch that final. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.